I remember Leon well as a colleague and as a parent, and he remains a good friend. We are delighted and honored that now, as a federal judge, he and his wife Susan have returned to campus to help us mark our 40th anniversary. Please join me now in welcoming the Honorable Leon Holmes. Thank you. Dr. McLean forgot to tell you what Senator Schumer from New York said was the reason for opposing my nomination. He said, Leon Holmes is not afraid to tell us what he thinks. It's just that what he thinks is so bad. <laughs> my family and I came here 22 years ago as new Catholics, having been received into the church the year before. And I will say with all sincerity, the two greatest influences on our vision of what Catholic life should be have been the missionaries of charity and the community of the Thomas Aquinas College. I did not have a liberal education, did not know Aristotle or St. Thomas, did not know Euclid, did not know any ancient or modern mathematics, did not know the ancient or modern astronomers, did not know Homer, Virgil, or Dante, did not know Latin. I could go on. But if I tried to state comprehensively the things that I did not know and, did not, and do not know, the list would begin to look something like the actual infinite. <laughs> and it would not be responsible of me to provoke a mathematical dispute at TAC while there are knives in reach. <laughs> Some things haven't changed. We were here two years, and I tried to listen to the conversations and learn what I could. And whatever I could pick up, I've carried with me and tried to use to the best of my ability whenever I can in my work. So now, if the prosecutor says something like, Your Honor, this defendant is a bellicose bully of unprecedented belligerency, I can say, is that per se or per accident? <laughs> I will have an opening question for us to address. Before we take up that opening question, however, we should pause and reflect on how remarkable it is that we're here celebrating the 40th anniversary of Thomas Aquinas College. Think back to the late 60s and the early 70s when the founders set out to found this college and imagine how slim their chances of success must have seemed. They wanted to start a Catholic college that would not be sponsored by a religious order or a diocese. They wanted to found it in Southern California to require the students to take four years of mandatory classes with no electives, no majors, and no minors. They would require four years of reading mainly old books by men long since dead. The students would, re would be required to follow a dress code. There would be no television in the student center or the dormitories. The college would have no fraternities or sororities, and the college would have no formal intercollegiate athletic program. The odds of success must have seemed slim to none. Yet here we are in the midst of this beautiful campus, celebrating the 40th anniversary of a college that has been nationally recognized as among the best.